Plugging in a car is nothing new for Brian Dickens at Pigeon, Michigan, who powers his Daimler Chrysler Gen car with wind energy. But he says even without the wind turbine, going electric is very cost effective. If we were to actually buy the electricity, it would still only cost us about 1.9 cents per mile to charge it. By comparison, the average gasoline-powered car today costs about 10 cents per mile to refuel. In addition to his wind turbine and electric car, Brian burns corn to heat his house, and he also makes homegrown biodiesel. And if that's not enough, he recently installed a wind farm at the local elementary school. What we're looking at is a, is a maximum capacity of 205 kilowatts for a three-turbine wind farm. We're actually the largest uh, public school wind farm in the nation as far as number of turbines. Um, there are some schools out west that have larger turbines, but we have the most. The turbines were purchased with a $265,000 grant from the Michigan Public Service Commission and private donations. Brian's wife, Kathy, works as a counselor for Laker Schools, and she wrote the grants to fund this and other alternative energy projects for the students. Boys and girls tell me all the time, I see one's moving and one's not, why is that? Curiosity causes a lot of learning. And that's the part that really intrigues me. I enjoy that very much. However, several days after we shot this footage in mid-September, Detroit Edison told Laker schools to shut the generators down. DTE said this was necessary to assess the safety and technical compatibility of the project. Initially, DTE told the school district it would need to spend over $50,000 in technical upgrades to get the turbines back online. But after several weeks of negotiations between DTE, Lakers Schools, and the Michigan Public Service Commission, DTE agreed to cover all upgrade costs and help the district get the wind park up and running again. Residents on the